All right. I'm back. First attempt failed. So here I am. This is a new boiler. What I did was to give more heat was I turned up the aquastat for now. So this way it's putting out more heat. I'm not gonna leave it like that. I mean, it's only a small little 100 BTU boiler, both burners are burning correctly going up. Hopefully this time around, we don't lose the connection. But to start, first things first, let's connect to the gas. So I'm gonna turn the gas off, the light on. See what our incoming is. It's three degrees right now, wind chill is minus 17. It should start to warm up. And as it warms up, our heat will warm up. Okay. Yes. A little low. Okay, five and a half. See where it goes when it fires. I'm hearing a little bit of a gas leak right there. Is it my hose? Could be my hose. that seems like the hissing stopped we're at 200 right now so right now we're off on high temp it just has to reset itself and then we'll come back on here we go so let's see what our gas pressure is when this fires Five, just a little over five. I'm gonna fire the water heater now. Cause I need five. I got high pressure, gas. So let's see. Dial it in a little bit, the regulator, and he's doing this, but... Okay, good. So, gas pressure, ooh, that's five everything on over here and go back off put the water heater back off here this is back on water heater off we're still water heater's out now yeah, it didn't do much with the gas okay, let's kill the gas See what's going to burners. I'm sure it's just because she used the night set back and it's too cold outside. But I have to verify, so. For the back one, I like to use a little piece of pipe in a 90. Gets me right in there. Get my fitting. I don't see any rips or tears on my hose. Now we're firing. And 
so it's about three and a half. A little under. So I'm going to adjust the gas a little bit. Let me come a little higher. Not much, but right there, just a little over three and a half. All right. The water heater, let's make sure we don't have too much of a drop. Water heater fired, still three and a half, we're good. All right. Right now I have an output of 192. My tool is reading 194, so I mean it's about probably two degrees over. Let's check boiler pressure. Like I'm saying, this boiler's probably just maxed out because of the outdoor temperature. Boiler pressure is about 17, focus. Oh, it doesn't work here. Okay. But it's about 17 PSI. So, I mean, the boiler's firing. It's working. It's doing all it can. For a day like today, air vents opened, pumped. Definitely moving water. Hope everybody's been having fun today. Hope everybody's inside somewhere nice and warm. Who knows where today's going to bring me. This week, I'm the emergency service, so I'm on call. So this might be the easiest job of my day. Who knows? But with this kind of weather, you get a lot of those calls where people just aren't comfortable. They had the night set back going and it just doesn't keep up no matter what they try to do because she had it at 65. Now she wants 73 upstairs and it's 66 and it's been 66 the whole time, which is why I cranked this to 208, but I'm gonna bring it back down because I can't leave this thing at 208 for that long. I'm not staying here that long. I've done most of my startup. Gas pressures are good. All my radiators are getting hot. So I'm going to go 195 here because the insulation is poor. It's a monoflow system. A monoflow system has a pipe coming up and then it's going to hit supply tees. And then it's going to come back on a return tee on the same exact line. So that's a monoflow system. And it's just pretty much going to go around the perimeter of the house. That's a supply up. Then as it goes around, it comes back down as the return. Well, I was hoping I could maybe stumble into something interesting here for you guys. This is just another boring video, probably. But what you all been up to? How's everybody doing today? Who's outside? Who's inside? Who's just relaxing, taking it easy? Six hundred and three subscribers. That's good. I didn't have my uh, chat on. I'm finally able to see it. Mike, take it easy, cause I think I saw somewhere that you just got back from the hospital. So relax. Take it easy. Get yourself better. I just went to the gym for the first time yesterday because my breathing's getting a little hard at times. Somebody pointed that out to me. So I mean, we gotta do the best we can for ourselves and for everybody else, but we gotta take care of ourselves first. So take it easy and relax. Everybody, I definitely will be back. 44 degrees, I'm jealous. I am so jealous it's 44 degrees there. When I left my house today, it was three degrees and a minus 17 wind chill. Oh, you got snow. Yeah, we got gypped. I was supposed to get snow here, but I didn't get any snow. I mean, it snowed and then it turned to rain not kind of what I want. I wanted some snow, some fresh powder, maybe go snowboarding. We're clicking back on now. Eight degrees. Yeah, Texas, 41. I got to come down to Texas, visit my brother. He lives outside of Houston, so 
He says in the summer, though, you just got to run from your air-conditioned house, your air-conditioned car, to your air-conditioned office back home. Four degrees in the UK. Nice, Gordon. Yeah. So here we're firing again, three and a half. So I just have a maxed out boiler here. Hi, everybody. Till next time. I have a video about to come out on a iComfort S30 thermostat that I had to replace because the installers bent the sub base when they over tightened it. That one's just about to go live. I already posted it on my Facebook page. I haven't posted it yet here. I'm about to do that. Well, till later. I'm going to have a lot of videos coming out this week because I'm the emergency service. So I'm out.